Good morning. God bless. It's me, Denature Thomas, and I'm sitting up here in Las Vegas, Nevada. You know, I'm just giving God the glory, the praise, and the honor, and I'm sitting up there, and the Holy Spirit is bringing back memories to everything that I've been through, everything that I ever spoke, and things are coming to existence. You know, I, I just sit up there, and I just thank Him. I just thank Him for all things. You know, I'm sitting up here. Uh, I'm not staying here, but the name of the hotel where I had all these, 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 I'm going to call them beautiful experiences. And it, when, when God says all good things come together for the greater good, it was the Gateway Hotel on uh, Las Vegas Boulevard and Charleston right on the corners between uh, Charleston, Las Vegas and 4th Street. You know, I was in room 119. I don't have permission from the owner to show his motel, so I had to think about what I was doing. But I can tell my experience that I had here. And uh, there was a gentleman, uh, and I'll never forget, he was light-skinned. He had a dragon on him. He had a, he had a lion tattoo or something on him, and he'd been looking for me all day. And so this gentleman, you know, I said I was going to, you know, have sex with him for, for, for money and everything. We were supposed to be getting high and everything. And I never did. I never did. Anyway, I was in room 119. And uh, that day, I'm just running game all day, running game all day. And, you know, I could have got myself killed. But he had left with somewhere. And then I myself had uh, came back to the room and he wasn't there. And so when I came back to the room, you know, I'm just crying. I'm just missing my kids. I'm like, Lord, you know, I just want to die at that time. I just want to die because I felt no love nowhere. You know, without my children, I had nothing. Without my children, I felt nothing. I, You know, when, when, when I was told that I could not love, that I could not love, when I told that if I fell in love with anybody that I would never see my kids again, that right then and there, it just, it just, it, it just, it just took my, it just took my heart. I was in room 119 and I'm looking at the sign where it says no smoking now. There used to be a lot of smoking in that room. Uh, where, uh, that's the room I walked out of. And in room 115, that's where the high power rifle was waiting for somebody to come out the door. The rifle was from the other side, and this is, you know, uh, I can't turn this camera around because it don't work that way. Anyway, uh, I came out of room 119, and in 115, room 115, that's where the, the the high beam was pointed at, and I just stood right in front of us. I said, Lord, take me. I said, take me. I cannot live here no more. I cannot do this no more. Take me out of my misery, and you know what? Jesus came in, and he saved me. I'm sitting up here, I'm praying and telling people, hey, I used to walk these streets. I used to be in these streets. I used to panhandle. Here's my favorite machine. I used to, hey, make love to that machine. Hey, I never got paid nothing. Panhandling for money, to, to, to gamble, panhandling money for, for drugs. And my gambling addiction was worse than my drug addiction. You know, but I tell you now, Jesus saved, and he saved somebody like me. And when I tell you guys that I walked these streets as a prostitute, a real prostitute, I did. Doing things that was not of God. When I say that I was under the influence of drugs, when the demons was sitting up there, the spirits was behind me, having me being a drug addict, having me being adulterous, having me being a liar, having me being a thief, having me devouring my body. Then Jesus saved. And I'm telling you guys, anybody that's out there, the, the dope dealer, the, the gang banger, the organized crime, uh, the homosexuality, all these spirits that's behind you has been defeated. But you got to believe to receive it and, and claim it in the mighty name of Jesus. Declare and decree it. Come out that darkness. You know, I'm no better than nobody. Nobody is no better than me. And I tell you this day to come out of that darkness to the light in the mighty name of Jesus. This was the same hotel, the same hotel that the dude named Red, he sat up there and the devil possessed his body and asked me to sell my soul. And I said, devil, get away from me. I kill you right now. See, I was going to kill a person because the devil's spirit would have just left. But he asked me, would you sell your soul? I give you all the drugs that you want. The devil offered me money and drugs, and I kept on saying, devil, get away from me. People really go out there and sell their souls, and when you sell your souls, you lost them. I ain't never heard nobody selling their soul, and they end up going to Christ. They ain't never heard of nothing like that before. I'm just telling you the truth. Because when the devil's out there trying to take your soul, and you say, yes, hey, uh, take it, 
it's, it's, it's God. You gave it to him to do his will. That means when you die, you go to him. You go to hell. And y'all got to remember, the devil is a liar. He's a thief. He's out there to take your soul. He's out there. He wants you to be the adulteress. He wants you to be the liar. He wants you to live in sin. God loves the person but hates the sin. And we die within our wickedness. We will not enter in the kingdom of heaven. There's nothing that you can tell God to say, well, I did this. I would this. And he said, hey, be gone. When we do things, we do things within love. And not in hate. If you're doing it for a turning motive, guess what? Get out of here. Because guess what? That's not of God. What we do for one another, it is Christ that's doing it for them. We don't do nothing. It is all Christ. And we give him the glory, the praise, the honor, and the thanksgiving. For all that he's doing for us. Because all things work for the greater good of who? God. You know, I thank him. I thank him. I sit up there today and I, I went to Elijah house and we were sitting up there and all I'm talking about, y'all know me, God this, God that, God this. And I'm like, I didn't know who I was in God kingdom. I says, Elijah, thank you for listening to God when God told you to take me in. Thank you. And I sit up there, I said, if I see Tony out here, if I see Tony, I will ask Tony for forgiveness, but I'm not going to go look for him. God didn't tell me to go look for him. But if I see him, I will ask him for forgiveness. I will let him know, hey, I, I was in the wrong light. And I tell everybody, you cannot serve two masters. When I was out here, I was a child of God. And I'm going to make this very clear. When you are a child of God, we do end up in the devil's world serving the devil. And when we're serving him, God is trying to lead us and guide us out of that darkness. And God does everything but fail. He don't ever fail. If you're his, he's going to get you out. But you got to believe to receive it. And God is saying, come to that light. He said, come to the divine light in the name of Jesus. He says, call on him. In his son's name. And he is right there. He said, as two or more are gathered, he is in the presence. And I'm telling you right now, God is watching everything we do. His son's got the throne. And then when all this is over, the son passes back over to the father because it's all about the father. And we thank him for his son. We thank him for his love. We thank him for his mercy and his grace. But right here at this hotel, the gateway, all these bad things happened to me. Right here at the gateway hotel, there was me and Talato. I ended up having a room and he ended up coming. And I told him, hey, you know, we, we getting ready to get busy. I said, but you got to go get some condoms. And he was like, what? I never do nothing to hurt you. You know me? And I'm like, oh, Lord. But you know, you've been married. And you're supposed to be with this woman named Linda. And she out there. And it's like, whatever. You know, no, brother. We ain't going down that way. But you know what? It was Holy Spirit. But what happened? What happened? Holy Spirit put us both to sleep. I took pictures that I'm putting on Facebook. Because YouTube don't let you put no pictures. But I'm telling you this day. Jesus saved. I'm telling you, I was sitting up there with Paulette Griffin the other night, and she took me all around Las Vegas. No matter, I'm like, why is she doing this? But you know what? God says, just follow. And as you know, I'm on Sierra Highway, and every word that I said on Sierra Highway about me having kids, more children is getting ready to come to pass. That prophecy. Whatever I speak out this mouth, it will happen. And I give God the glory, the praise, the honor, and the thanksgiving. And I tell you guys, continue on praying. Continue on believing and putting all your hope in the Lord. All of it, not some of it, but all of it. And thank him for all that he has did for you, has done for you, and to keep on doing for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is a short post because... I'm going to go back. I didn't read my word today. Uh, I'm going to go to this place, Vicky. Uh, it used to be the, a, a place where they had story and all type of stuff. But this day, I'm going to do it. And uh, I'm going to go eat me some liver and some grits. I'm going to go to my room. I'm going to get me some rest. And I'm out of here tomorrow morning. I'm, I'm out going back home. You know, I might just leave today. I don't know. It's a possibility. What time is it? It's probably after 12, so I already paid for the room. I can't get my refund back. 
So I would sleep till later on, but I should have got my room for one night. You know what? I'm going to call and see. Maybe um, I could check out still in the name of Jesus. And if I could check out, I'm on my way home. I love you guys. God bless. And there's no one like Christ. And he's our only friend in Jesus' name. You have a blessed day.